TypeScript. Okay, even though they call it TypeScript with this word script, it is not a script. Scripting languages are programming languages that don't require an explicit compilation step. Another thing, we'll go to Wikipedia even. We'll say, um, scripting languages are usually interpreted at runtime rather than compiled. Okay, just so you understand the background of this, TypeScript is a programming language developed and maintained by Microsoft. Okay, the guy, the, the one of the lead developers of TypeScript is Anders. He's the one that created C Sharp. He's the lead architect of that. And he also developed some other languages like Turbo Pascal. Uh, an amazing language, actually. As when I was a kid, I used to mess with this a lot. But you got to understand that TypeScript is essentially C Sharp. I mean, looks very much and acts like C Sharp. And it compiles to JavaScript. So why am I even making a video on this? Why is this important? Because a lot of the newer developers will look at something like this and first of all they'll, they'll think it's a scripting language where it's absolutely not a scripting language it's a compiled language and second they'll see TypeScript is JavaScript with syntax for types okay first of all it's not JavaScript it won't ever be like JavaScript because it is antithetical to JavaScript the philosophy of TypeScript is completely completely the opposite of everything that I love in JavaScript. And that the reason is, is because they introduce probably the worst idea ever, in my opinion, and that is types. Okay? Types, I'm telling you right now, just as a UI developer or any kind of high-level developer, types is probably the worst idea ever. And I'll show you why. Now, it's important for, especially for the newer developers, to understand the difference between a scripting language and a compiled language. Okay, it's very important. Like, for example, let's say I do cat, by the way, just shows me the contents of this file. So, cat hello.js. This is a scripting language, this is JavaScript. And the way I'll run it right now, I'll just go node hello.js, and then it returns the result. But see how it ran it directly, like it just ran this text file? Same with like, a, let's say a Python script. Okay, hello from Python. I'll just go Python, hello. See, Python is also a scripting language. Uh, meaning it is interpreted. Um, let's look at another one. Uh, hello.sh. Just clear the screen. This is a bash script. Okay, and the way I'll run it right now is just hello.sh. And the terminal basically interprets it. Now, let's look at a compiled language, okay? Obvious example would be C. So, in order to, to run this, I can't, I can't run it like an interpreted language. I can't just go like, run C, hello.c or something. I, I can't, it doesn't work like that. First of all, you have to compile it. So I'll go GCC, hello.c, okay? That's the first step. Now, what this did is it created this file right here, a.out. This is a binary file. And now when I run a.out, that's when I'll get the result. Now, similarly, when we have a, um, a TypeScript, I have this uh, test.ts here. Um, I can't just run it. You know, I can't just go like node test.ts. It'll freak out. Uh, that's because it's written in, uh, in a different language. Well, I have quite a lot of stuff in there, but um, in order to see the results of this, I have to compile it first. Okay, so TypeScript is not really a, a script. We should call it type compiled. Okay, not TypeScript, type compiled or whatever. But it's, uh, it's a compiled language. So in order to run test.ts, I'd have to run it with its compiler, which is TSC. And then I go test.ts. Great. And I have some error in this, but it is not assignable to. What is this crap? 
Oh. Blah. There's a, a compilation error. Great. Um, but see, this will now compile. And what it compiled to is JavaScript. It created this file, test.js. And now I can run this file. Okay, so it's two steps. Now if I go test.js, it's gonna run. But just so you know, I had to compile test.ts into JavaScript in order for it to work. Now I've been coding professionally for many years now, and I can tell you without a doubt, like the biggest problem that faces all developers is complexity. Okay, it's the number one problem. And I see this all the time, okay? If you take nothing out of my videos except for, for this, just remember this one word, complexity. And my whole channel, my whole philosophy is avoid complexity, okay? Now, the two main things that cause complexity, number one is too much syntax, and number two, unnecessary uh, processes. Whoops. Now back to the coding example. Uh, TypeScript, to me anyway, is essentially the definition of complexity. Everything that I don't like in coding, I mean, with all due respect, is inside this language. Um, now, some people might like this language. You know, it's it's a personal thing, as I told you in many of my other videos. So I'm not going to say that, you know, objectively speaking, this is the the worst thing ever. It's to me, it's the worst, and the reason is is because they're adding so much unnecessary crap, you know? Like, do I care that this is a number? Do I have to, to spell it out for the computer that this is a number and this is a string? And, you know, I'm returning a string here. Who cares? You know? Like, or uh, this method accepts only uh, a type of employee, like only... Um, classes or only objects that were defined as employee this that's what this method accepts who cares you're wasting my time you know i don't want any see look, look at all this stuff x is an, i don't want any of this stuff okay get rid of it all it's wasting everybody's time well it's wasting my time i mean um look at this actually let me let me start from from the beginning um let's say this this message string right now, let's say I gave, gave it a, a number instead of a string. Guess what we get? We get this thing called a compilation error. Type number is not assignable to type string. It's like, who cares? Like, just do what I want you to do. Like, I don't need you to, 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 to start explaining stuff to me. Like, okay, so now I'd go like this, and now it would work. It's, it's just a complete waste of time. Now, remember the number two thing that I said about complexity is just too many processes. That is also a problem in addition to just bloated syntax and too much syntax. Again, try to reduce the syntax to as little as possible. Okay. Whatever you can achieve with the smallest amount of code, that's optimal. Okay. It's kind of like a math equation. You want the smallest amount of stuff in there. It's all about reduction. And the second thing, as I just said, is too many processes. Like for example, uh, test.ts, right? Now I have this whole thing where I need to compile it. Okay, I need to compile it. I have to go through this process. And if maybe I had like um, like an error or something, you know, maybe I, um, like you saw earlier, I had this as a number, but it was a string, so I didn't like that. Um, now I have to deal with a comp compilation error? Like, give me a break. Instead, put it as a string, whatever. But I'm just saying, now we have the process of a build. Okay, now I have to build this thing. Like, it even matters. Okay? I want the least amount of processes. Like, look at this Python program. I just go like, uh, Python, hello.py, I'm done. Like, it already ran this, this text file. It doesn't, I don't have like two steps. I don't have to go from like text file to, to compiled file and then run the, it's just, it's too many processes. The least amount of processes that you have, 
the better. So yeah, don't call this a script, okay? It's not type script, it's type compiled, okay? It doesn't act like a script. It doesn't, it's not interpreted. It, it has a ton of types and object-oriented programming, a compiled language, and it's essentially C-sharp trying to compile itself to JavaScript. So just stop it, okay? It's not a script, it's type compiled. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you later. Bye.